Hello, my friends. We're starting the new year off, right? It's 2023, and I got a bunch of stuff to open. We're going to start off with this big box of treasure. What's that all about? You're going to have to stick around and find out. I've also got a bunch of packages. There's some singles, some eBay purchases, and more. And to finish things off, we're going to open up some blister packs. So if you're ready to watch, I'm ready to rip. Let's go. In no particular order, let's just start opening stuff. What is this? This is from TCG. I don't know who this is from. People send me stuff all the time. I get emails. Hey, Striker, can I send you this to open on the channel? I'm like, yeah. So there's probably some of that. Just include a little letter telling me what it's all about. That's all. Ooh, this is from Trevor, the head grader at TCG. Okay. Okay. What we got going on here? Dear Striker, this is from the CEO. Oh boy. All right, I'm, I'm big time. My brother, cousin, and I started a grading company at the beginning of this year called TCGC. We've been big fans of your channel for the last few years. I'd like to give you a few examples of our slapped cards in appreciation for the hours of enjoyment we've gotten from you. We've been putting in long hours to build a great company and compete with some of the well-known, the more well-known grading companies. I've included our business card as, long, as well as some stickers. QR code on the back portion of the label will take you directly to our website. From there, you can see the va various label options we have, including a custom label. I hope you'll check this out. We're checking. We're checking right now. Thanks for sending this. I appreciate the fact that you value my opinion. And I'll do my best to give you an honest review. Slab number one. It's a Trevor Story, Allen and Ginter. So I see we have some subgrades here. Nice clean design, 9.5. I like the font. Font is good. The slab is good. Nice and thin profile. Got a QR code on the back. A little refraction sticker. I like the sticker. Yeah, man. Looks good. Serial number on there. Looks good. And a Ronin. Okay, so it looks like we've got a black label option. We've got one that looks kind of like a foggy, dark. Looks good all together. 9.5, 9.5. Pretty cool. Check them out. Let's throw these guys back on the stage. We may have a full stage. I for, Like I said, I forget a lot of the stuff that I have here. I have no idea, actually. It's been sitting here for a while. I, I apologize if somebody sent me something. It's been a little while. This is from... Well, we'll find out, won't we? Thanks for joining me. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And so would my poor child who just needs her dad to get a thumbs up. Oh, yeah, she made this for me. My daughter bedazzled a top loader. <laughs> How cool is that? She bedazzled a top loader and... Where'd the stand go? She bedazzled the stand for me, too. It's around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I think that deserves a thumb up, thumbs up. Davy Llama Mystery Packs. That's what we've got here. Okay. I love it. Everybody likes llamas. Dave, I hope you sent me a letter. 
Not seeing a letter in here. To explain to the people how to get it. I don't see a letter here, buddy. But we'll open it up all the same. Looks like we've got rookies, inserts, bonus auto numbered. Number one, number two. Pardon me. It's a sneezy kind of day. So we've got three autographs, some inserts, some rookies. First Bowman. Numbered card and more. Andrew McCutcheon Relic. Cool. New classic Shohei. We got Wits. That's an optic. Pandora numbered to 99. From 2022. Let's see what we have in the Bowmans. It says first Bowmans, but. Or maybe are you supposed to open this first? We do have some firsts in here. This is good. Guriel, look at him. Oscar Gonzalez Jimenez, that's a sweet one. Andre Jimenez, first Bowman. Gus Garland. Okay. Inserts. Got some old school ones in here. Bo Jackson, loving it. Manny. Man, Manny looks so different before the definitely didn't do steroids, you know, before that. Randy. I love Randy looking off in the distance. Soto Mojo. Marte. The Crone Zone. Frank Thomas. Reese Hoskins. Rookies. Brandon Marsh. Trent Grisham. Purple action. Jaron Duran. We got a Vladdy National Baseball Card Day rookie. That's cool. Jordan. Got some good ones in here. Wander. I like it. Wisdom. My boy, Bo. O'Neill Cruz. Rookies are looking good. And autograph. TJ Friedel, Cincinnati, RPA. $199. That's a $10 card. Celestino, bonus auto. The first auto. That's sweet. And Michael Brantley. I need to know more. If you reply a comment to this, everybody check out the comment section. Let us know where you can where you can get these. If you emailed it to me, I apologize if I don't have that. I get just millions of emails. I can't I can't keep up. All right, next up, we got another package here. Let's see what's in here. We got I know I got some singles. I bought some singles. Just I don't know. I can't remember what ones either. I probably should have opened these. They've been sitting here for days before I sent my last submission in. Oh, this is already graded. Oh, I remember this. I had to get it. Stars of MLB, Chrome, Bobby, 10. Undersized, protected, but I appreciate the effort. I've opened up a lot of this stuff, and these Chromes that are perfectly centered and, like, jammable are few and far between from what I've seen. So, had to get it. I've got the regular Stars of MLB in a 10, so now I got this one in a 10. Everybody wins. Love that chrome bobby. Love it. Next up, this one's from Rick Probstein. Thanks for sending me something, Rick. I know you're a big fan. Big fan of the channel, allegedly. Rick Probstein. What have we here? We're buying this. Oh, now I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Didn't put a cover on it. Come on. Hold on. I got to get one. And we only use card shells around here. 
This is a PSA slab sleeve from cardshells.com. Use code STRIKER10 for $10 off an order, your first order of 50 or more. I mean, that deserves a sleeve for sure. Julio 2019 Bowman Draft, Sapphire, PSA 10. So I've got a little Julio Sapphire collection going on. He does not have a first Sapphire that I'm aware of. And so this was the 2019. He was in 2019 Bowman. We got 2019 Bowman Draft Sapphire here. And man, is that glorious. This is going to be his. So this is his first Chrome Sapphire card. It, just because it doesn't have the first doesn't mean everything. I think this is going to be a piece that people catch on to. I got it for a great price. I thought it was a great price. And it is just beautiful. Woo! Let's go. Do you want to see my other Julio Sapphire cards? One hour later. Check these out. Boom, 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 boom. And a mojo for good measure. So I think I've got the complete spread, the full Julio Sapphire collection. Of course, these were just ones that I, I think I bought one of these raw or maybe two of them and got the others from opening. I don't I don't exactly know the full story how I came across all of these, but I'd love to get all of them in a gem. It's possible that I'm going to maybe I'll just sell some raw ones to buy a gem, but I think some of these can gem up if if not most of them that one's a little oc but most of them look pretty good next up this one's from mike oh my what did you send michael okay let's check this out Striker, hope you had a wonderful holiday season. I'm a regular watcher of your channel. Enjoy your breaks. I've been selling baseball mystery packs on eBay the last two years and was hoping hoping to have you open a couple on your channel. They are called the Imperial Baseball Mystery Packs. I've sold 500 of them. With 100% positive reviews, each pack is $19.99 and guaranteed to contain an autograph, relic, a numbered card, and at least 10 rookie cards. That's a lot for $19.99. The cards are separated into a base pack and a hit pack. There's not a chase card, but I strive to provide great value. The two I provide you were made at random and are a fair representation of what someone would receive. All right, check it out. The Imperial Baseball Mystery Pack on eBay. That's a, that's a pretty ridiculous deal. If you get an autograph and a relic and a numbered card, I mean, just an autograph. Is, would be enough in my opinion. So you're hooking the people up. I like it. I like these bags too. Fancy bags. Imperial Baseball Mystery Pack. That's a great looking bag. I guess you don't have to rip it. Well, let's check it out. Got some base. My favorite guy, Cedric Mullins. Oh, we're going all the way back, I see. A-Rod, New Age Performers. 2002. Castellanos, Gold. We got some Parallels, some Firsts. Pete Alonzo Cup, Chrome. A-Rod, upper, upper Deck Vintage, or what is this? Yeah, Upper Deck. Lucius, Welker. Black. Uh, Allen and Ginter X, that's what that was. I, I always want to call that Allen and Ginter Black, but it's Allen and Ginter X. And the good stuff. The Ramos first. Baez rookie. Jock rookie. Will Myers. Bowman Chrome rookie. And Suzuki. And you got the new new in here. Olsen. Jeez. Dude. Brandon Webb. That's an A-Rod Bat Relic. Mateo Auto. Wow. Yeah, for $19.99, this is an insane deal. Just think about how much you would have to pay 
I mean, obviously you're not going to be including like huge, huge autos in here or relics, but that's a quality relic, A-Rod. And, uh, you know, the auto is any auto you get. But think about how much you have to pay for a licensed auto. Or anybody that comes to sign an autograph at anything, they're going to be charging you at least 20 bucks, no matter who it is, pretty much. A lot of times they charge you way more than that. So, so yeah. Let's see number two. I think this would be fun for like a kid to open up too. Knowing that they're gonna get an auto and a relic out of there, kid, kid would love this for, for sure. Be a good gift. It's a good price point for a gift to buy, like a niece or a nephew or something. E card. I wasn't collecting. in this era we need upper deck back licensed and a sapphire hey man sapphire cards they are glorious verdugo first very good that's Good. Neil Cruz rookie. Evan Longoria rookie. Seeger. Wow, man. You got some, some good rookies in here. Here's our numbered card. Zach Wheeler numbered. The 250. That's a 2014, man. That is that prospect card. Okay. And Carlos Beltran, bat relic. Brian Anderson. Definitely worth the money. Check it out. Next up, I'm going to be opening these up. I'm going to fast forward a lot of this probably because I'm, I'm hunting for parallels. Usually I'll buy like 10 of these. Uh, the Throwback Thursday or whatever design is on tops that I like. If there's a good rookie in there, I'll buy a bunch of them. Just hunting for parallels, hunting for graders, and then I'll give a bunch of these away too. So bear with me. All right, so check it out. This is the glossy set. 2022 rookies. I thought this was a, a pretty excellent set because of the checklist here. We've got, I mean, the biggie is, of course, Julio. Gradable. O'Neill Cruz, gradable. Spencer Strider. These are three of the biggest rookies, and it came in one set, so, I mean... Geez, now that I'm looking at this set, maybe I should have bought more. But I think I got plenty. So if you get any of these cards, slammers, if you happen to get a random whatever, one, one of these rookies in your in your pack, just know that it's not a mistake. You just got a freebie. Number two. So it's they're pretty hard to come by, getting the parallels. Don't really expect one, just kind of hoping for one. Ooh, yeah. And I don't know if it's an image variation or if it's a like a numbered situation or what. But we'll have to open up every one and find out. Pack number four, and I think it's an extra card that you get maybe. Same to me. What is up with a bunch of slop on the outside of that case? How does that even happen? I imagine it would at very least be a thicker card.
And you would think too, you'd think like, hey, these cards are just like specifically made for this. They're probably all gem mint. Probably not. The only parallel I've ever gotten doing something like this is the Wander image variation from one of the throwback Thursdays. Oh, we got something. Yes. Ah! Yeah. Big one coming up. So it is an extra card. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, it's going to be numbered. Three of five. Let's go. Oh, that is huge. Oh, my. I was not expecting that. Whoa. Wow, that's the biggest one I've ever gotten doing something like this. That is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that just paid for all of it. Maybe another? Yeah, what are the odds we get to? I guess I don't even have to open. Now that I know, I don't even have to open it up. I can just go like this. Okay. What do you think of this design? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, Bender. I mean, what better? I guess it would only be better if you replaced... O'Neill Cruz with Bobby or something, but even the O'Neill Cruz is great. Okay, I'm loving this. Slammers, keep your eyes peeled for some of these cards in your pack. Last but not least, got a little six pack of blisters. Hope you enjoy the show. I hope you're having fun. I definitely am, always. The last batch of these I did, I got super lucky. Actually, I did, I did the challenge with Cubby. Didn't get lucky in those. But my own personals we did. We'll just do it like this. It's been my experience that it's always like the second card that's hidden in there that's the good one that you, that you can't see when you just open it up like right away here. So one of the interesting things that I discovered while doing some research and filling out my spreadsheet to figure out, are these blister packs worth buying? What about the other retail packs? 24 count retail box, is it worth buying? The packs are actually the same. The pack odds that you get out of these blister packs and the 24 count retail, they're the same pack. So the thing that you, you get a bonus, you get the bonus purples in this, but the value is actually better in the retail box. I'm going to be opening some of those retail packs soon. Stay around and watch the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Thumbs up. See if we got anything good. Purples. Come on, baby. Just, just some rooks. We got a Ramos. Not too bad. Purples. Not that great. Redemption. Coming from the packs, though. Bobby on the front, that's good. Oh, that's cool. Chrome Stars of MLB, CJ Abrams. That one looks nice and centered. That's a good one. Dansby All-Star. Ooh, there's a gold in here. What are the golds? One out of six. 10, 1 out of 16, 1 out of 13 packs for a gold.
And these ones are all flipped the right way. Isn't that funny? I wonder if the pack with a gold in it is like properly collated. Tyler Anderson gold. It's in good shape too. That's a. It's in good shape. What's Nico all about? Nothing. Okay, so so far, a chrome stars of MLB and a gold. Juan. Soto All-Star Game. I'm still trying to put the complete set of these together. I've opened four plus cases of this stuff. Haven't even been able to put the All-Star Game set together. These ones are all... Is, are we going to get a gold out of here? They're all facing the right way. Or a numbered card of some sort. How about a rainbow foil? Yeah. But every pack's got something. It's crazy. Maybe not every. I mean, we got three. Most. Most do. Julio on the front. Is she looking? Eh, not the best. These ones are flipped around. So does this pack we just get like an insert? Yep. Can't believe I'm figuring it out already. That's a nicely centered one. Well, decent. Not perfect. All right, last pack. Thanks for sticking around. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Strikerbreaks.com is my website. Check it out. Hall of Hits. Oh, we got a numbered one. Look, all the cards were faced properly. Right side. And we got a numbered one. The $4.99. I'm on big, big money. Hey, it's a rookie. Green rookie. Marsh. That's not that bad. That's, man, and that is in pretty good. I mean, it's centered. I don't know if that's a reflection down in the bottom corner or what that is. But I will top load that, no problem. Not a bad little, not a bad little rip at all. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'll just spill the beans right now. I got a whole case of those retail boxes and I'm gonna open them all for my PC. That way I can just, I'll, I'll have opened every format, a whole case of them. I haven't opened a whole case of hobby yet, but I just want to see what the quality of the hits are because that's the cheapest dollar per hit right now that you can get is those retail boxes. If you can get them down around the 75 bucks or 80 bucks for quite a while, but if you can get it 70 ish, that's maybe the way to go. But I want to see if there's any big name, big name hits out of there. Wow. This was amazing. Oh. Three of five. Let's go. And the Julio Chrome Sapphire 2019 Bowman draft, his first one. I had a great time. If you did too, hook it up with a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all later.